So what I want to do is I want to teach you guys tests for the two most common ones, which are allenes and substituted biphenyls. And the other ones don't really need rules, so you're fine. You can just always assume that they're going to be chiral. But it turns out allenes and substituted biphenyls can be chiral or they cannot be chiral depending on the rules that they follow. So let's look at this. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to use test a modified version of test 2, which is the one that for stereo centers, to identify trigonal centers in the allene. Okay? But you're going to say, okay, but there's two dull ones. Which one do I look at? Well, this is the ghetto part. We're going to visualize the allene as just one big double bond. Okay, so maybe like squint a little bit and try to see that, try to ignore the carbon in the middle and just pretend that it's one big double bond. Okay, this is, by the way, this is just my way of solving these, but I think it's, it's helped a lot of students and I think it will help you guys. Okay, if it's able to form E or Z isomers after visualizing it as a big double bond, that means that it's chiral. Okay. So remember that when I taught you guys about trigonal centers, I told you that they're actually achiral, okay, if they pass the test. But allenes are different. So just think about allenes as their own thing. Allenes are going to be chiral if they can form E or Z through this weird long double bond. So I'll do the first one with you guys, and then I'll let you guys do B and C on your own. So what I would do here is I would look at this compound and I would just ignore the C in the middle and just pretend that it's one big double bond, okay? Then I would ask myself, is this double bond able to form cis and trans or is it able to form E and Z? What do you guys think? According to my rules for double bonds, this actually cannot form E and Z or cis and trans because I have two of the same atom on one carbon, on one side. So that means that no matter how much I switch these two groups, I'm never going to be able to get E and Z. So this one would be achiral. Okay? So now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to solve B, and then I want you guys to solve C. 